old, new ones, uh, slightly older ones. Um, but I, I asked somebody today, uh, you know, they were coming along to the gig, and I said, what would you like uh, me to do? And so they requested this poem, so I'm going to do this one first. And I have to first apologise to Jim. Because <laughs> in your poem you said something about writers talking about writing, so that's what about. So I apologise for that. But my poem is a poem about writing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing two. Anyway, so uh, this one's called This is Poetry. This is poetry, so please give me some time. Let the words flow, glow like raindrops from the sky. Let your ears rest here on the side. Let the silence lie and then explode into an infusion, a multicolored world view of verbs and sounds where constant run riot with passionate debate. This is where the truth lies, deep inside a heartbeat, but it's easy to forget that we've been jamming on the streets for millennia. On the corners of Shakespeare's time, they used to like to rap and rhyme and throw words like pots make meanings collide. Because these words are free. Poetry's like the air we breathe. It's our inheritance, the blood that runs in our veins, our lost mother's tongue, which was never written down, but bloomed into a thousand nations. The Greeks made it theatre and the beats went on the road. It's a debt owed to the bards of long ago. But still we wrap it up in terms of good and bad, take it from our lips, tie it down flat, mystified by codes of genius. Hey, mate. Call it what you like, but this is my right to speak, and I'm fighting back from that straight and narrow. This is a revolution of the heart where everybody has a chance. I'm with Burns and McGonagall. I'm a poet rebel dancing up a storm, and I've slept and dreamed in the streets of Alphabet City where the last poets roamed. And in the words of Helen, this revolution will not be televised, because it's a vital spark deep inside from Rumi to Tupac. These are seeds of thoughts growing into wild gardens, a confab, a diversity of voices that slip from tongue, teeth and lips, let rip after ripened. This is the light that keeps it real, the babble of the brook and the rhythms of the ocean. This is poetry, the intonation of the beat and silence in an ever-changing world of could never be said and never be told, and I can't tell no lies. Just like Blake or Byron, there's revolution on my mind as I sleep with Pablo's dreams, sweet beneath my pillow. This is poetry, as I dance in free verse, a Pictish fire spirit in love. So please give me some time. Let the words flow, glow like raindrops from the sky. Let your ears rest here on the side. Let the silence lie, and then explode. I think, I think really the last time I did this one was at a slam. And, you know, I have a hate-love relationship with slam because I think they're great for bringing new people into poetry and for giving it a bit of a, a bit of a, a vibe, a bit of an excitement to it. But at the same time, I think it should never be taken too seriously. Um, as, as Mark Smith always said, you know, if the best poet never wins, and if the poetry ever takes over, if the competition ever takes over the poetry, then uh, the poetry is lost. So I always kind of have that. So I did this at Slam, and of course, it's a stupid two-minute rule, and I created it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> really sorry for the two-minute rule. It should be three minutes. How quick but, are you? Uh, yeah. Well, it's too quick for this poem, and uh, so I'm now going to get to do it in its right time. So it's called uh, A Penny for Your Thoughts. <coughs> a penny for your thoughts. Because I confess, where I'm standing, we're all lobsters in a pot. Slowly heating, sleepwalking into extinction, inch by inch, and I'm running a little scared. Because there's something lost in our superpowers of hearts and minds as we worry more about the latest gossip style or tan, fast cars and movie stars. Never mind about the fish we kill, eating our fish and chips with genetically modified ketchup on the side, or the bleach and the pollutants we're building up slowly, passed on down to the next generation. So our whites are whiter than white. A penny for your thought. Because here's hoping humanity will pull that rabbit from the hat. Fingers crossed. But I won't hold my breath. Because 
the bees are expiring at an alarming rate and you think we're killing the planet, well think again. It's us and nature's creatures. Earth's just going to shrug her shoulders and start again. And if that shows shite, well that's just my point. It's our human waste what we choose to consume and throw away. It's the nature of greed in a capitalist day. From profit to deficit, from greed, from profit to deficit, boom to bust as the rich get richer. A penny for your thoughts, because it's a strange tingling feeling in my guts as the world's spinning round and round and it's easy to pass the buck to God or the next generation. Reply, what's the point? But here's the thought. If a butterfly wing can create a hurricane, don't dismiss our collective powers. You and I can make a real difference, stirred up with a little bit of creative imagination, elbow grease and passion. It only takes a single drop. But the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. A penny for your thoughts. A penny for your thoughts. Mm. Yeah. That was seven seconds on your two maps. All right. <laughs> so I should have done it slower then. Um, <coughs> anyway, so um, so that was uh, that was that one. Um, so I'm going back. So I, so I have taken an environmental lead to this poetry set, by the way. So this one I wrote, and I do this a lot in schools. They love this one in schools. And I always say to them, and I know there's some of you in the audience, so that's why I'm saying it. Um, this one is, it's called Digital Generation. Now, Digital Generation is everyone born after 1986. So, hands up if you're born in 1986. After 1986. Yes, I was too. I know she definitely was. Right? I'm born again! He's I'm born just again. yesterday, I'm born again! So, I was actually... Yeah, I know, we'd all love to go back. <laughs> me too. Anyway, I was there, someone phoned me up and said, oh, here's the subject. So I was commissioned to do it, so I said, write this. And I said, it was five o'clock in the afternoon, and I, they said, I said, when do you need it? And they said, tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. I said, I have to know what to show you. Googled it. I was perfect, because I was living with three of them at the time. One of them, which is just before us now. And, um, oh, don't worry about it. Um, and anyway, so it called Digital Generation. It's a digital generation, born and bred and worldwide web fed from birth and hypertext, Bluetooth and microchips. Forget your caffeine nicotine fix, your gluttons for all those buttons and instant access, and now you're finding fame on MySpace. It's a digital revolution gone global, mobile bedrooms filled to the brim with electronic gurus, Buddhas and wacky whiz kids, DVDs and 28-inch plasma screens, Xbox, iPods and Playstations, but I'm still waiting for Star Trek's next generation. It's a digital tsunami speeding down the superhighway, a 24-7 cyber race with electronic footprints, no ink stains or paper cuts, just thousands of twitching fingers and thumbs to send a text to stay in touch to a mate, two feet in front. It's a digital evolution gone crazy, eyes glued to MSN or eBay, top-up queens and gadget kings, digital cash on the tick with high purchase, now love's found on Facebook and friends reunited, and everything's on plastic. Yes, it's a Google.com generation with high-tech resolution, but just in case there's a virus in the mainframe, or brothers watching. Utilize the digits in your head. Don't swallow everything you're fed. And be in love and click the switch and pull the plug. Because I'm not sure we'd survive a power cut. Go on. <laughs>
creatures nest and rest above, shaded under leafy bark and bough. Nature's guardians of little things, some have flowers and some have pine, evergreen in winter time, nuts for squirrels and fruits for birds, from seed to branch, from branch to leaf. Some grow tall and some grow small, help create the air we breathe, stop erosion of the soil from hot baked sun and, ra and driving rains, each a whole ecosystem. From pawpaw trees to oak and birch, all different kinds around the world. And did you know the law of gravity was perceived beneath an apple tree? Some make maple and some make roofs and walls. Ancient redwoods walked with dinosaurs. From seed to branch, from branch to leaf, Mother Earth needs her trees. And so do we.
dark silence blew to a silvery scream, popping his pills and snorting his dreams as his buzzing thoughts just steamed, steamed with all the injustice his eyes had seen. But he forgot long ago how to utter no. But still he struggles from now and then, caught in a straitjacket of his own aching head, till his last and thawing thoughts just trickle down his skin. Three monkeys, three monkeys, three monkeys and me, sitting, sitting, sitting in a monkey puzzle tree. And then there's me. I'm just a small bird sitting in a tree, looking, looking at all the beauty the world offers me. But oh, oh, how I weep, I weep for thee, you silly, mad, mad monkey three, for you cannot speak, nor hear, nor even see the mess you've made, the mess you've made here in the monkey puzzle tree. Amen.